Good afternoon, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. Welcome to Lulu. Just wanted to go over Lulu because it traded again and hit today with a follow through lower. This was a gap from last week. It was a brand new gap from last week. Had the continuation the second day into it, which was a huge day. Then it rallied green. I even watched this on this day and shorted this this day. Held it a little bit too long. I thought it would break 64. Didn't. Traded green. And guess what? Right away is on Friday it held. Got a little, little teeny weeny weeny bit over 68, but held even here through the second follow through day. Look here. You can see. Here's where it is that it held. This was Friday. And today is today. So today I had this on a watch list today for continuation to break. And once it hit under 65.40, it was through. Actually did go down to the second target. The first target was the break of the um, 65 whole number. After it went under 65.40, second target was 80.80. 80. Actually, no, I think it was 85. Hold on. It was 84. Yes. No, it was 85. 64.85. There it is. So it went to the second target. We'll see if this goes past this. It very well might. Look at this. 64.30, Really, really nice trade here. So I watched this today, but I didn't do the trade because I missed the, the um, perfect setup on the first trade. The second trade then um, failed in this, rallied up to 66 and set up again. But the first trade in this, I was in the text, so I didn't get it. And this is the kind of thing where you got to watch this out of the gate. Here, I'll show you. So this open here, try to get over 67, couldn't really came in. There's nothing to do yet. This was aggressive, which you could have done it in here. This is when I was doing the tax. If you had done this, the stop really has to be over here. Why? This is a continuation gap. You have to, get a little, have to give it a little more room. I would not have given it the high of the day, though. That would, that would have been too much, too much. This is too tight. It, it might have held. I mean, it did hold, actually. But in the moment, you don't know that for sure. So you really kind of got have to give it a little bit room up here. Simply because this is a continuation. And if you take a trade in here at this time of the day, it's aggressive. It actually played out perfectly. It actually held perfectly. It actually showed in the beginning of the day when it dropped down here really hard and ran a dollar in the first three minutes that it was going to work for the day, though. Look at that. I mean, really, really nice. So if you didn't do it in here, you could have done it in here. By the time I saw this was underway, it was starting to come down and, and all the way down into here. And then I saw that it was going to hit under 65.40. And then when it hit under 65.40, it was, it was set for the day. And this is where I did it. Spar in here. So I watched this for another short. This was aggressive. This is what it needed to do, which was what? Hold 66. This really is not a setup that is something you should be doing on sell setups and so on and so forth. This is actually something that you have to take the numbers right. It was the same way even with this this morning. Okay. And the only reason this was good is because it held 67. Remember, these are areas. Because the market was rallying this morning. When this confirmed the weakness and fall through today, while it was this was trading red with the market holding power trending higher, you had the confirmation that it was going to hit today under the 6540. Okay. But initially, to get it, it's aggressive to do it at 935. That's very aggressive to do this. It's just a, this is already underway now, week into itself. But this never got to 62. So the bigger number is in place still with this. And I'm going to have to see how this closes today. I don't think this is going to make it any farther down really in here today. It went to the second target, 85 was it. Uh, I'm going to be watching this tomorrow, to be honest with you, unless I get a new gap tomorrow. And even if I do, I'll still watch this tomorrow. I think this breaks tomorrow. This breaks 63.50 tomorrow. If this doesn't break 63.50 today, it's going to tomorrow. This will be a nice short tomorrow. Again, you cannot be aggressive on this unless you get the numbers right out of the gate tomorrow. Okay, every day on this now, after the day of the gap, you have to be just spot on with the numbers. So this is Lulu. This is basically a continuation gap from last week and still going. And you could still be in it if you were taking this overnight or as a swinger core trade. You would still be in this. It didn't get to the full on target, which was 62. And by the way, once it breaks 63.50, not only will it go to 62, 60 is the target. Uh, I got. I have to see how this sets up when that hits that. But I mean, I actually think once to break 63.50 on the day, it's going to go to 60 that day. It's going to have a huge day in it then.
Uh, and that, that should be this week. It might be tomorrow, so we'll have to see how this closes today. This is Melissa with thestockswoosh.com. If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Thanks, and have a great day, everybody.